Okay guys, some type soul drama. Not really drama, but like some sort of data in that direction. Like I don't even know what to say at this point. But it, I don't know, I don't know. It's just it's just I covered this in a video a while ago. It's about the Segunda server. Um so basically there's this whole new document and stuff, you know, like a lot of shit going on. And there's just more than just the scam behind it, as I talked about it like two months ago or something. You can go check out my YouTube if you wanna watch that video. It will be linked in the description, the first link, just watch it there. Um, yeah, but overall, there's just more to it, you know, and this is why I'm, like, wondering more about it, because, like, bro, like, if you already get exposed, why do you keep going with, like, shit and make it worse, or, like, there's also some old stuff coming up, but you'll just go to the whole document, yeah, there isn't much I could say to this, because, like, it's just really weird, I don't know, it's just a power tripping person, uh, I don't know, so, we'll go to the whole document, um, type Segunda start with Veyman, advertising it in every discord he could, like, doing this overall, it's just, it's such a stupid idea, bro, because, like, imagine you just join a community discord, you just spam your invite link in there, bro, like, okay, whatever, then, <clears throat> this eventually caught the Espada's, uh, Razuka's attention, and I guess he was interested, I assume Espada Razuka was someone, like, high ranked or something like that, so, wouldn't we even wonder me, um, if this guy was, like, some sort of interested, wouldn't surprise me, not gonna lie, um, because like the idea of the server will be probably explained also in this document later on but, like overall it just has a helping server like just with segunda groups but for example bro imagine you charge for one single like let's say for one a single segunda group you have to give 15 skill boxes bro <laughs> what the hell bro i say i saw someone say that bro when i was bro when i saw that uh, okay and bam and um yeah he got help by like being advertised in every server in every faction discord yoko van and types uh soul society this was like in i don't know yeah, four months ago, I think. Yeah, you can see the date there. Um, Razuka was giving co-owning it and helping Vamin out and the server was going to become official. Basically, if you want your server to be official, a uh, type soul developer or mod or something like that needs to have ownership over the server. This is also a really big risk because they can just delete it and they do not have any consequences even though you work really hard on building up the community on it, you know? So, yeah, I kind of understand Vamin why he didn't want to do that, but at, at the other hand, we'll see why it's like really, really crucial here as well mm. so the only thing with this vomit had to transfer ownership to a type soul developer okay developer then i guess a little while during after this employees a little while after this employees started to notice vomit was pocketing the items he collected and ended up not paying any of these employees and ended up firing them because he didn't want to pay them like uh for the per for the people who don't understand what this basically means this is more like um okay let's say i'll give you five segunda grips and you give me this uh but this doesn't go as in payment for the employees like we have some sort of a similar system in my server but it's more like we call my people helpers you know just uh, way better in my opinion like my system so this is also a reason why you should join uh type society my discord also link in the description um yeah uh i cannot really read the screenshot i hope you can okay never mind uh i can probably make this bigger okay type segunda server is no longer an official and backed up by type soul you set your own risk he essentially would go to collect from people and just pocket the items through without recording them and sometimes he just closed the ticket one of the managers of the discord talking about the owner like i said you said your own risk this was green by the way the developer so yeah we don't need to talk about green this guy's cooked but um you know overall just being just a scammer if you have a good purpose for your server i don't know i feel i feel like he made the server just to steal shit bro I'm, i feel like i don't know maybe that's just me from what i'm reading so far bro it's just like yeah he made the server so he can just collect the stuff and make other people work for him but i read i read this whole document yesterday bro, and when I saw that other part about his very own game, like, bro, I don't even know what to title this video at this point. Like, is it the, the biggest type soul scammer or, like, I don't even know, bro, at this point. Because, like, he's a developer, he's a type soul player, blah, 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 okay? But we will go to this later. So, he would have sim been the owner, of course, since he started it. But instead, he banned the developer and uh, Razuka, which caused him to get banned in-game and from the Discord. Because they probably understood what this guy has been doing, so they banned him, you know? Like, obviously, if you just ban someone in-game because you have the higher power for, like, only getting banned in his Discord is kind of, you know, it's kind of just power abuse, in my opinion. They probably noticed that this guy was doing bullshit, and th they just decided to ban him for that. Um... Yeah. After banning uh, Razuka and the type soul death, he tried to make false allegations against Razuka saying he scammed him. Like, if you do false allegations, at least try to back them up, bro. <laughs> because, like, bro, there was, like, no proof at all. There was nothing at all. He was just saying, yeah, he scammed me or some shit. Oh, my days. How can he fuck it up so badly, bro? I think it should be spread around more. I used to be a manager until... 
6th of August, where he banned me. Not August, what am I saying? Where he banned me because I had an auto action with him. Trying to get him hand over the ownership because the server could have been let in the manage better since I was the only manager left genuinely trying to help him. Yeah, I cannot even read this normally because I don't know. Um, overall, this document was like basically made by the manager of the server, like Axe Manager or something. And I just genuinely feel bad for the person. Because imagine you put so much time into the server just for the owner to be like a, an asshole basically. And just fuck it up, you know, like there is no reason to fuck up a server. Bro. He has like 4.4k members, he could have done so much better, so much more. He has a lot of potential with that server, but he just decides to make it a scam server, bro. Where the majority of employees are not even getting paid and stuff, bro. It's like actually crazy in my opinion, bro. But yeah, let's read more. He would constantly make his employees pay for his own giveaways. He would host and who would threaten them to fire them if they didn't give him the items. He's an immature 15 year old who doesn't know what he's doing and he asks people in his Discord for real life money, which is quite embarrassing. Um, hosting a giveaway and then asking your employees to pay for the giveaway is kind of crazy to me, bro. Like, what? Why would you host a giveaway if you don't have the item? Like, for example, okay. Look, I have nothing except the power. I will use it in a bit because of confusion rework, you know? Let's say I make a giveaway for a shot of Ray. I don't have one in my inventory. I don't have one in my bank, for example. And then I just tell people, yeah, go pay the winner. Like what? Genuinely, are you okay, bro? Like how much how much of an ego do you, do you need, bro? Those are not your servants, bro. Come on. There's just some proof screenshots. Whoever doesn't contribute by paying the giveaway, winners get fired. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I'm not paying a shit to talk some stupid human. What? What is bro? An alien? Oh, hell no, bro. What? He has asked me plenty of times to invest and others around 200 bucks to 400 bucks for his game that is gonna supposedly take off. Not to mention he would try to make me pay for GFX for more perms to fix the terribly made server. <laughs> invest. Invest. Could you invest? Invest in my game. Invest in what? Invest invest in me, please. Snuggle really being smart here, bro. You're asking to invest. Are you gonna put anything in yourself? I'm asking you to invest. Pay for my GFX or I'm banning you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what am I seeing, bro? What am I seeing? What is this, bro? Yeah, you said yes already. Can I have administrator for what? So I can do the things I need to do. I gave you most of the perms. Come on. Give, give. Okay, mm. if you pay if you pay for this GFX, what? <laughs> okay. Someone, someone, someone make me unbroke. Someone give me money. Someone pay my rent. Someone give me emotes. You don't have rent if you're 15, bro. Your parents are paying for you, bro. <laughs> what is this, bro? I can't believe that this guy nearly made it official with his server. Like, I don't want to flame anyone, but like, there's stuff like background checks. You should do that on like people who come off as su suspicious from their own uh, areas, you know, with the service and shit. Like, like, Razuka should have just easily. Talk with the server members and stuff, you know, you, you should have just done something about it, like, before anything like that even happens, because, bro, you're putting a huge risk and not just, just yourself and also, like, at other people indirectly by just having the server, you know, you're putting a bad light on them. That's also why they DM me and they are interested in working for me, Valmin, in case you see this. They want to work for me. Because my work structure is way better than yours could ever be. I don't have a huge ego, bro. Sometimes I just mess around with my helpers. Okay, whatever. But they are not being threatened like this, bro. Like, invest in my game, bro. My game is, like, so bad, bro. I want to show this real quick. Look here. My game has 260 visits. It's so bad. Like, it's just freaky mundo update. Yeah, nice. Okay. Vamen has advertised twice in his Discord about two separate games he's apparently making and working on. He literally backs people on his Discord to invest in this game that's going on nowhere and the bad development is, is even real. Mort, uh, he's white by the way. Um, invest. I'll consider poor, poor, poor Moon, whoever Moon is bro. Hell no bro. Nah. 300 to 400 bucks for 7% consider it. Why is he asking for so much money for 7% of his game? If there's not even like any sort of income, bro. What? Dude, this is a progression. I need 300 to 400 bucks for development costs. What am I reading? Why are you trying to make a game if you, if you cannot invest into it yourself, bro? You're just asking your server members, bro. And like, threaten them to ban them, bro. What's wrong with you? Depends on the amount you're investing. Alright, so how much does 1k sound? 1k what? Robux. You can get... 0.001% 1k robux not even 1% yeah i need 400 300 to 400 usd money why wanna invest in my game <laughs> what 
Oh my days. Okay, okay, that's just crazy. Bauman has reached out to people and wasted their time at work. Someone made something for his game and never received payment. Okay, scamming a developer is, is just another level of being a scammer, bro. This is just... Bro, scamming a whole ass developer, bro. It's been nearly a whole ass day and I didn't get my payment. Okay, can you be patient? Now look, bro, it's been nearly 24 hours. I've been patient enough. If you don't have the money, don't hire someone in the first place. He's right. Oh yeah, he's right. Don't be biased. Okay, you can leave then. What? <laughs> yeah, just leave. I'm not paying you, bro. Just wait. <laughs> I'm not paying you. I ain't leaving until I get paid. Then what? How much? A whole year? As long as it takes. Specify the time then. Bro. This is just... I don't know. I, like, I, I don't even know what to say. This is just a 15-year-old kid with, like, some ego, bro. Okay, this is just a lot of yapping now, bro. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so I think that overall he can be a uh, chill. He can be chill. But Loki, he gets on my nerves a lot. Like when he, when he said earlier about everyone working on tickets, even if they're in school or lower, which is some straight bullshit. Like what if you're on vacation or some important school project comes up and you want to work for type signal because you get free shit. Like it makes no sense how he wants us to work 24-7 on tickets. He actually we wear robots half the time that we always 24-7 need to do tickets. Plus he's the owner and he doesn't even do tickets. But he complains about them so much. It's okay all bullshit and I've thought about quitting multiple times just because we're expected to do this work 24 hours. Uh, 24 hours a week he treats us like we're slaves or something okay that's just crazy i wonder who this guy is not even the employees environment server like him either some of them think he uses he overuses his power because he thinks he has all the power when he really doesn't in reality and he's just someone who likes to scam and betray a lot of people etc i wonder who this is like just be a normal like uh, employee in the server or something but like overall is like if you have like some sort of helping server um obviously this is gonna be bad competition for me then because my service at uh 3.7k members right now i saw and you know if you have a server like that it's always important to treat your workers your helpers your employees very well because it can easily backfire on you if you just don't behave properly if you just if you just don't be normal you know okay raise your remarks or like i don't know any other like let's say jokes or something you know like the, like homophobic jokes or slurs or whatever okay can happen if you're a child ob like obviously you just say, say a lot of bullshit you know but like treating the people wrong for a long time and not stopping and not learning at all it's just something to me that's crazy you know i would understand somewhere if he, if he was just saying like some racist shit or some you know some just some idiotic stuff you know as a kid bro it just happens you know i wouldn't even like say anything but like that's just crazy to me that he treats those people so bad even though they work for him, you know? I just generally feel bad for the people working in the server, you know? So... Yeah. Okay, he made that video over me, cancelling a giveaway because he cancelled a deal. You don't know the whole story, so don't talk. This was about the bad video, in case you saw it. It's like the video I reacted on, basically. Back is back, my bad bad, if you see this. What was the deal, Emilia was asking? It was a long-term contract, like an essence of true hog, per promo that he did. And he made a video and he told me to host giveaways for him so that people would join so i did but then he said okay this marks the end of our partnership goodbye so i delete the giveaways because i thought he cancelled it okay but he doesn't provide any evidence here that's the thing he doesn't provide any evidence that actually happened and i i highly doubt that a content creator with like 5k subs with that basically would do something like that i highly doubt that bro genuinely but Varman is lying just not to rise suspicion about himself, even though there are many videos about him. A content creator, yeah, this is my video. Uh, this is the bats video. Varman also lied scamming in the past, as still does to this day, even if he's trying to deny any accusations or etc. Okay, this is basically th the end of the document, uh, but I think I have some more screenshots. I will look into my ticket now because this person opened a ticket on my server. Okay, uh, 10 minutes passed or something. I found some more screenshots I got sent by this person. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, Vaman, you're actually a cooked person. You're so delusional. I can't believe that someone like you nearly went official with your server and then you sold, bro. Did you realize if you wouldn't have gone official, you could have made so much back from that, bro? Like, not in a scamming way, but like from a fair and really well earned way, bro. But you just sold, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up. You just sold straight up, bro. This is probably the longest video on my channel, but this needs to be covered, bro. This generally just needs to be covered. And, you know, so let's go to the screenshots because, like, this shit is actually crazy. Where's the first one that I want to see? Here. He was being basically confronted. Let me see the screenshot where he was being confronted about this whole thing. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm just a bit delusional right now. Ah, here. Um, can I read this fully? But, yeah, basically, just 
covering up a bit, okay, whatever. Okay, they think you can DM me themselves. Why won't you just answer the question though? Are you sure that you're not the one asking the question? Vamin is not stupid for like reading this true, but like on the other side of the hand, he's the most stupidest types of player I've ever seen in my life, bro. Because like, bro, how delusional can you be? Emilia said here, so I'm a, if I'm a be real, I was asking the question because I'm very curious. Why did half our team get demoted? One was senior and now a normal employee. That doesn't make sense. And why did Fallen get demoted? He was doing tickets yesterday. That's maybe just a normal employee. I don't know, Fallen. Fallen, if you're there, bro, if you're watching this video, reach out to me, bro. Provide me with some story, bro. Come on. Just back his back, bro. Come on. You can do it. Then, listen, mate. This question ends here, okay? I asked a question. Fine. And I answered it. And now you're accusing me of scamming a content creator. Like, don't talk if you don't know how the full thing. I don't need to prove any to anyone that I'm innocent. Goes no God knows it. That's all I need. Well, there's a whole ass video of backing evidence up of him scamming bro like how can he do that bro then here just uh basically being confronted in general chat this is just also like just he's just dodging everything he's just dodging completely everything uh i don't got time for you don't say that you're white okay you're gone what <laughs> oh my god what am i reading bro what do you mean don't say that you're white okay you're gone Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know what to say. I, I really don't know. Obviously, this guy's banned by passing in-game, you know, but this is just another level of, like, crazy. Also, why are you trying to fire me for having a normal civilization, uh, civil conversation? My bad. Oh, my bad, guys, for, like, misspelling a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to bring this video out as quick as possible. Recording is, like, 20 minutes long already. <laughs> my bad, okay? Ask a question. Fine. Like, this is uh, the other screenshot, like, of what was above it. Like, it's so stupid. Okay, womp womp. All right, bro, unreal. Womp womp, if you're too broke to afford it, that's not my problem. L bait, bro, D. Too broke. You're overpricing for Roblox Discord. You just obviously don't know how calm works. Don't call me broke when you're asking types of players to invest in your game and asking me. I was considering, but that's... Okay, get the fuck out of my server. <laughs> yeah, okay. We are dealing clearly with the baby here, so... This was also the second part of the other screenshot. Uh, but the CC, basically. I don't know if this is true, but there's no evidence, so I don't believe this. Uh, also another question why hasn't the manager you hired do anything they haven't been anything they haven't been doing anything i barely see text messages from them she's not a real manager she's just there she's a close friend that i trust okay but why do not have a real manager there there when there are many people who are, who are qualified keeping the servant check etc i don't know loki like i can't understand vamen here but also Emilia, because if you have a big server and you need someone really to have like you need a manager generally you need a manager for your server and you just put someone there who doesn't even care, who's only like basically a trusted person, so he has parents and everything in case, you know? Why not actually put the two managers there? One who actually cares about the server, and you say, your friend can still keep the role, bro. It's not that deep, like, you can just still give him the role and that's it, you know? It's like, if I don't see any tickets clear today, everyone's fired. I don't care if you're on, uh, I don't care if you have school. You can't be serious. Yeah, this is just, this just really, uh, I don't know, pressuring them for no reason. And then here, give away, pay them, thanks. Okay, this is just, uh, I don't know. This is just crazy to me, I don't gonna lie. There isn't much I can say about this anymore. This guy is just really delusional. So like, I don't know, spread this message or something. I, I don't even know at this point, bro. It's like really, really crazy. Okay, you made it till the end of the video. I just want to say also thank you for Amelia to reaching out to me and blah, blah, everything, you know. This is the new server with the real people in there, with the real ones, you know. Join this Discord here. This is the link. It will also be in the description if you join here. This is their new type services server it's like a helping server my server like basically type society will partner with them they're really great people so join up